welcome to an episode of Teach to Code with Mario. So today we're going to build a fraction simplifier in Java. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we'll start a new application, fraction simplify test. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to fix some of my curly braces, erase some of this, comments. So the first place we're going to start today is with a method. So we're going to make a static method, and we're going to call it uh, simpfrac, for simplified fraction. Now we're going to have two parameters in there, both with type integers. So we're going to have int num. And we're going to have int den for numerator and denominator, respectively. So we are going to need one variable for storage. We're going to use, we're going to call it divisor, as that will be the number we are dividing by. All right. Next, what I want to do is actually print the fraction out. So fraction before simplified. And then we're going to concatenate the numerator. Let's go ahead and concatenate the divide sign. And then let's go ahead and concatenate the denominator. All right. So now to see if this works, we could call simfrac, and we could pass something in there, like maybe 6 eighths. Oh no, I hit build on accident. Okay, so we got 6 eighths. Awesome. That's all we wanted. So this method right now is printing it out. So next step that we're going to do is we're going to have to start looping. <coughs> So for int i is equal to the num or the numerator. Oh, I forgot to put i. Well, i is less than or equal to 1. We decrement i in this one, so be careful. i minus minus. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to actually use the modulus. So if num mod i equals equals zero so if there's no remainder <clears throat> when we mod num and i and then mod i also gives us no remainder then we want to set the divisor to i And then we're going to break out of this. So it's a little bit of a tricky loop, but I know if you kind of go with the pseudocode and write it on a board, you can kind of figure this out. So after the for loop, what we're going to do is we're going to do an if real quick. we got to do a check. So if divisor is not equal to zero, then we simplify it. So that's where we say num divide equal divisor <coughs> and denominator divide equal divisor. <coughs> now what we have to do is we have to actually print this statement out again. Well, not the actual statement, right? But we want to print out the variables. There's a little bit of logic we have to change here. So, in fact, all we have to change to, for it to be logical is after, right? This is after it simplifies. So let's see what we got. 6 eighths turns to 3 fourths. Awesome. Now, if we run this multiple times, <coughs> like simfrac, um, I don't know. Let's do something that doesn't simplify, like 7 eighths. Or seven ninths, right? Seven ninths doesn't simplify. 
What if we have um, <clears throat> an improper fraction, you say? Ah, like 10 fourths. Well, let's see what happens there. And let's try what happens with bigger numbers so I can convince you that it's not just um, doing some trickery. So let's say one, 120 over 1,000. <clears> so let's go out and run these. So I don't like how these fractions are touching real quick, so let's go ahead and do something. We're just going to come here and concatenate um, a new line. Beautiful. So now we're separate. You see that? All right. <clears throat> so the first one we put in was 6 eighths. We got 3 fourths, right? They divided by 2. 2 divided by 6 is 3. 2 divided by 8. I mean, yeah, it's 4. And then here we divide it by 1, which we got the same fraction. <clears throat> or the loop actually stopped, right? Now here we had 10 fourths. So no matter what, even if it's improper, this algorithm is going to solve it for you. 10 fourths becomes 5 halves. <clears throat> so they divided both by what? 2, right? Now here, this one's a little bit trickier. <clears throat> if we knock off a 0... They must have divided by 40, <clears throat> right? 4, 8, 12. Yeah. And if you divide this by 4, you get 25. Yeah, so they divide it by 40, essentially, on this one. So even with bigger fractions, it's still coming out. <clears throat> so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it makes a lot of sense. I was looking for a lot of codes online. And it just seemed really, really complicated, you know. I love my syntax and the way I write code, you know. To me, I try to keep it as simplistic as possible, where it's still view, still viewable and readable by the coder, even if you were to walk away, you know. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely hit a like and subscribe if you like this video. Comment below if there was something you feel I left out, or if you're having trouble, or comment on a new project that you want to see. Um, I look forward to working on different things that people can challenge me with. You guys have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.